Okay, James, you've, you've big news to announce. Uh, the fact that uh, you've just been uh, made an Ashoka fella, fellow sorry, uh, means that you, you, uh, you join an interesting uh, lineup of Nobel Prize winners and, people, and also people like Jimmy Wales from Wikipedia. Could you explain to me what the Ashoka Fellowship is about and, and what you'll be doing with this, uh, this uh, interesting honour? So uh, Ashoka is a global network of social entrepreneurs and the likes who've, who've done crazy things like, you know, helped define governments or fed millions of st starving Africans. And so I feel a bit out of my out of my depth here, but um, it's a fantastic opportunity to, to get to, to, to meet these people, um, use the network to help expand Coder Dojos and countries where these uh, social entrepreneurs are set up, get advice and whether that's from organizational stuff or, or fundraising. Um, and the fact that Ashoka is involved with some of the biggest um, Technology uh, people in technology donors like uh, Nicholas Antrim of, of Skype. Um, I mean, it, it, it's incredible that you know, th there's uh, access to to these people. Um, so it's 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 an amazing honor and it's a it's an incredible recognition of of, of how far Code Rojo Show has come and to see that you know it, the amazing work of volunteers have gotten it to a stage where it's it's eligible for such a thing. The uh, the fellowship comes with a sponsorship of up to 100,000 euros, uh, namely uh, from a number of technology companies, including Intel. Could you tell me what kind of use you'll be putting that to uh, in the year ahead, and how, how you think that will align with the great work you've done with Coder Dojo? Um, so I think the, the 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 grant will go towards uh, operational stuff, um, so stuff like putting on first aid workshops, um, child protection workshops for mentors, so that we can have better better trained mentors. Go into stuff like, um, in particularly in countries that we're in foreign countries uh, like America, where we there's different laws and rules where we have to investigate insurance and the not so fun fun bureaucratic stuff. Um, a lot of it will go to that kind of operational stuff, um, which will hopefully allow for the more seamless and more well informed growth of Coder Dojo. Excellent. And the, the Coder Dojo movement, I mean, it's mesmerizing. It's only a year and I, I've seen it. I've, I've actually tripped into it uh, in different places around the world. It's just, it seems to be omnipresent. Where do you see it going, uh, not only in the movement within Ireland? I mean, uh, one, one great pro uh, projection I heard was someone say, well, we'd have one in every parish in the country. Uh, where do you see it going overall in terms of an international movement? Um, I think that it, it, you know, it's, it, it's going to take a lot of different forms. I mean, at its core, it, it's a it's a place where children can come, learn how to code, and people volunteer. And we've seen some um, we've some pe seen some people take this this concept and, and turn it. For example, in Galway, if you go an hour early, you can learn uh, how to speak Chinese. And, and there's all these different aspects to it. Um, so I think with all these various coder dojos established around the world, in the core, people are learning how to code, and there's additional stuff happening. But I mean, we're starting to see it take an impact in the education system um, with uh, school now adopting them um, and I think it's, it's going to be an uh, important uh, place for, for community and particularly with a, a generation going up with this it will be an important part to, to, to them when they're older.